Major funding for this program was supplied by the National Science Foundation. Music right here. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. <clears throat> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. That doesn't sound right. Someone's flat. It <laughs> sounded okay to me. Bianca, what's the deal? Nothing. It was flat. That's all. Can we start over? This time on key. From your From part. Your okay. And by the dawn's early light. Look, look, if you guys aren't gonna do it right, why should I waste my time? A million people here, and you guys are just screwing up. Bianca, wait a minute. Bianca! Lady, what's the big rush? I'm sorry. No, that's all right. That's all right. It's just a matter of a little rearranging. Where are you going in such a big hurry? Sorry. I'm really sorry. I know. This is not like that. Uh, she free. Was she sick or something? Oh, no, no. I don't think that's no, it. No. She just couldn't remember the words. And then she blamed us. She said we were singing off key. She was mumbling something about a, a million people being here. A million people? No one's even here yet. Yeah, yeah, but look at those seats. I mean, there's tons of them. <laughs> you guys, don't get crazy. I mean, you know there's not a, a stadium in the world that could hold a million people. I mean, the whole cities don't even have that many people in them. Yeah, that's some true. do, like Detroit. And some don't, like Baltimore here. There's about 700,000 people that live in this city, and somehow I doubt they're all going to show up tonight. They're not going to be here? I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got something for you. Oh, wow. And hey, there you go. The National Runaway Hotline. Cool. They're going to get a, a cut of the food sales tonight, aren't they? The hotline? Sure. The guy who owns the hot dog franchise here is always on the lookout for ways to help kids. Every year, he picks a special organization he can help out. This year, it's the hotline. How many people will be here tonight? take all day. Oh, well. I'll just count one section to take that number and multiply it by the number of sections. Simple. Maybe. Five, one, two. Hold up, Frankie. Listen to this. Now, this counting thing is only going to work if all the sections are about the same size, right? Yeah, so? Well, look. Check it out. They're not. Look, this is where we are now. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a pretty big section, but we'll look at 82. Section 82 way over there, it's a lot smaller than this one. I mean, there are lots of others, too, and they're all different sizes. Let me see that. Hey, guys. Hey. 
What's up? Hey, Marty. Remember Philadelphia? Philadelphia? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Big city, East Coast. No, our gig there. How big was the audience that night? Our gate, 5,000. Biggest audience so far. Why? I was just trying to get a handle on our audience tonight. I thought I could compare it to something I knew. Yeah, but this place feels a lot bigger than 5,000. 48,300 people counting seats and standing room. Where did that come from? <laughs> program. Here, right here, next to the seating diagram. Capacity, 48,300. Which is definitely smaller than a million. Yeah, for a million, you'd need... You'd need about 20 stadiums just like this one. How do you figure that? Easy. The park holds 48,300 people. That's pretty close to 50,000 people. So that means 10 stadiums will hold about 500,000 people. So double that, 20 stadiums would hold about a million people. Somehow that doesn't help. Sorry. <laughs> Ellie, hey! Ellie! Hi. What's going on? I don't hey. know. I've been better. <laughs> Where have you been? Yeah, is Bianca all right? I don't know. Something has really, really frightened her. Look, I'll go talk to her just as soon as I buy you guys some lunch. Okay. 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 Now, Fresh. what'll it be? Right. Steak or lobster? Oh, Steak? Uh, <laughs> lobster? Now, you can get that any day of the week. But if you want some real gourmet food, you need to be trying one of these juicy hot dogs over here. Now, who's going to be the first customer of the day? Oh, over here, over here. Oh, <laughs> me. You must be Ben Sutter-Smith. Oh, yes, I am. And you are? <laughs> Marty Reynolds. Hi, Marty. How you doing? Hey, this is the guy who's telling you all about. The guy who owns a hot dog franchise. Oh, good. 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 Yeah, we heard about your donation tonight. It's very cool. Hey, we like to do this whenever we get the chance. Kids need all the breaks they can get. Now. Anybody else? Me, me, me. I'll take two, but I don't want any onions or anything like that. He's got an image to protect. Wait a minute, like you don't? Hey, man, my image is solid. Look, oh, give me one with the works, with extra onions. Oh. Hey, now there's a man that knows a good thing when he sees one. Step right up. Take good care of you, would you please? Hey, Angela, good to see you. Guys, this is the woman from the runaway hotline I was telling you about. That's pretty good. And like Marty said, Ben here's donating a quarter for every hot dog sold at the game. Yeah? How many do you think is sold tonight? I can count on selling one hot dog for every five people attended. So we know there'll be at least 48,000 people here. Make that 50,000. Easier to deal with. I'd rather start smaller. If there were 50 people here, and one in five bought a hot dog, that would be 10 hot dogs. If there are 50,000 people, that's a thousand times as many. That means they'll buy about 10,000 hot dogs. 25 cents for every sale? Sounds right to me. So if Ben donated a dollar for each hot dog, that would be $10,000. But it's a quarter of a dollar, so it's a quarter of $10,000, $2,500. Huh? Wow. That's not bad. I don't really need to be here at the ballpark every day, but <laughs> any old excuse to get me out here amongst the fellas at the ballpark. <laughs> Look, there she is. Ah, the little lady that sent my papers flying. Is she a friend of yours? Yeah. It's Bianca, our lead singer. Well, what's she doing way up there? Well, she told me a million things, but it just boils down to one. She's afraid she's going to mess up tonight. Mess up? Everybody messes up, even the pros. I mean, look at the babe. What babe? Uh, not what babe, the babe. You know, Babe Ruth? Oh, there was a player. Hey, now, you can say that again. And he was born right here in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Really? Now, the babe had a batting average, a lifetime batting average of 342, and that was among the best. But do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. That means that the babe only got a hit about 34% of the time he came to bat. One out of every three at bats. Now the other two at bats, zip, <laughs> the babe was out of there. <laughs> well, hitting 34% may be great in baseball, but if we hit only three or four notes right out of every 10, yeah. <laughs> well, look, I tell you what I'll do. 
Now, I got to talk to one of my vendors who's up near there. I'll, I'll stop over and pay your friend a little visit if it's all right with you. Okay. A new perspective might be just what she needs. Sure. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about knocking you over before. No need to say anything. It was a mistake. I've made mistakes in my life. Sometimes even two in one day. I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Ever hear of Sparky Suttersmith? No, I'm not much of a baseball fan, I guess. Oh, that's all right. No, Sparky was a genuine star in the minor leagues. He used to hit that ball so hard, sparks would fly. That's why they gave him the name Sparky. Uh, but then it happened. The Orioles called Sparky up. Sparky thought he was in heaven. He was going to the big leagues. And? Well, after that, Sparky's career in the pros was just about over. But why, if he was so good, what happened? Yeah, same thing that happens to a whole lot of other people, I guess. Sparky walked into that ballpark one summer night, and there they were. 50,000 people. He panicked. He left that field that night, and he never came back. Wow. I know just what he felt like. What, what happened to him? Oh, he made a good life for himself. He went back to school, finished his business degree, ended up owning his own business. You know, he always wished that that just one more time, you could step up here to the plate and take a swing, send one flying straight on out of here. Got a little mustard. Can't be a lead singer looking like that. Yeah.